guys on the watch list this week, this year again. You know, people getting honored and nominated on this team. What does that say about the status of the team? Um, it says a lot because, I mean, you have a lot of guys nominated for things in um, the nation. That means a lot to a program. Um, it means we've got a lot of big-time players on our team. How, how many different ways do you figure we can see you touch the ball this year? Um, you can expect to see me touching the ball different ways. Uh, as far as uh, this year, I'm going to try to do punt return also, too. So I, told, I talked to Coach Mullen about that. He told me just get with Coach Gonzalez, um, get, me, get me prepared to do that, and also me catching the ball more at the backfield and motioning out and probably already out there receive ball also. So I'm just trying to get the ball in my hands any kind of way. Yeah, you've already one. been on kick duty, right? So you'll do, you'll do kick and punt returns now? Uh, maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. I might still do kick return. I really don't know yet, but right now I really want to do punt return also. So. How much does the running back there that y'all have allow you to do different things like that? Um, it helps out a lot because, I mean, like I said, if I'm doing punt return or kick out return, if I need a breather, um, you know, you, as soon as you come from kick out return, you're going straight to offense. So uh, you can have Josh in there, Milton or Nick, and, and even Sean. We don't know if Sean's going to reach or not. I mean, he's a, a great running back from what I'm seeing right now all season. So. Um, we got a stable of running backs. Um, I feel like all those guys can get the job done when I'm not in there. So just make sure we just keep getting better. What are your immediate impressions of Ashton Shumpert? I know you haven't really seen him go up uh, against guys trying to tackle him yet, but just your impressions, what have you seen this summer? Um, he's, he's in great shape. I mean, you don't see too many freshmen come in and, and be in great shape like he is. Um, we, we was doing drills and doing – 300 shuttles and stuff like that, and he's like, he was like right behind me, and I'm not used to seeing like a freshman running back just behind me like that quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's doing a great job. He just he keep me proving. Yeah. Um, we've been watching film a lot with him lately, yeah. getting them ready or whatever, getting going over plays and stuff like that. So yeah. just trying to uh, make sure he's ready when the season comes. What, what what you know? I covered him a little bit in high school, and he seems like a really sharp kid, and it really just kind of is always you know on task. Have you seen that too? Yeah, I've seen that a lot. I mean, like you said, like you said, he's always on tags. He, he's always trying to trying to figure out what's going on. Um, he always asks questions because if he if he, if he don't, doesn't know where to go or anything like that, he's always ask, asking and make sure yeah. that he, um, he's doing everything right. How's Nick coming come along these days? Nick Griffin, how's he doing? He, he, he's doing great. I mean, he, he came back, um, I think, like last week to full speed, I guess, because mm -hmm. they've been having him out a little bit. But he looks great to me. He's been running with us. Um, he's still strong and getting bigger. So um, I'm just ready to see what, what he what he's going to bring to the table when we come to camp. He's a hungry guy, too, yeah, because he what he's been through. Really hungry. How much confidence does it give you to know that the three interior guys on the line are all coming back and they've all played together and they're all veterans? It just seems like that would translate to a pretty good running game. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is one of our best old line that we had in a while uh, with those guys coming back and um, the chemistry they have. Uh, all those guys are pretty close because when you see them, they're together like majority of the time, like off the field, they together, they're like, going out to eat together and stuff like that. So I know the chemistry is there. So we just, um, they just make sure they get better every day when we come out to work out or condition anything. You put your time in as a young guy sitting behind, you know, watching Booby first and then playing behind Vic and those guys. So now from your perspective, can you see how guys like Josh and Derek and Nick, how they look at you? I mean, they want your snaps. They want your yards. Yeah, the, they watching every move you're doing because, I mean, they trying to figure out um, why, how is this guy, like, doing so good. So they, they want to, like, do the things that I do and probably even do them better mm -hmm. so they can get more playing time, and that's, which is great. Cause I'm, whenever they ask me any kind of questions on the field, I'm going to give them my, my thoughts about everything. So I just I just want those guys to just keep getting better. At the same time, you know, it keeps you hungry. But here yeah, you are, I, I, a 1,000-yard rusher, and yet here's guys want your job. Oh, yeah. You, I got to I gotta stay on my P's and Q's all, at all times, man, all times. How much mental how much mental game is there when you're trying to do so many different things, whether it's kick, punt returns, you know, be a slot wide receiver? How much mentally is that kind of a burden on you and how much of a, how much pressure is that mentally for you? Uh, it's not really no pressure. I mean, I'm kind of used to it now because I like from last year playing running back and then going to kick out return, doing stuff like that, doing special teams. I mean, it's not it's no pressure really, but you got to make sure that you focus at all time on the field, no matter what. You can't you can't lose focus on the field. You know what I mean? It's it's all mental really on the field and it's physical parts too. But the smarter you are, the better you are. So yeah.